Hey guys, I'm sorry this is late. I'm gonna get to it though. I'm not even gonna do an intro or anything. We're just gonna dive right into it. And we're doing a what you can do on this episode. And this is about thoughts and prayers. Every time something happens out there where something bad happens or something, you always hear people say, thoughts and prayers don't matter. Don't thoughts and prayers us. Get out there and do something. Well, my contention is always that yes, thoughts and prayers first, and then go out and do something. Because maybe what you want to do isn't going to work. Maybe what you want to do, someone's already covering, and then you're just, you're covering something that doesn't need to, you need to go do something else. So I have an example here today for you where thoughts and prayers really matter in like an everyday circumstance. And guys, you you think about it this way too, okay? Think about it this way too. When we tell people, oh, I'm going to pray for you, oh, I'll pray over that for you, or let me pray with you, it means there's someone out there, even if they have no one else, who cares about the little and the big thing that's going on with them, okay? And so I'm going to let you listen to this, and then I'm going to comment on it. So let me just get it playing here. (laughs) See if I can do it. All right. Everyone is offering thoughts and prayers, but that type of outreach rarely has a place in the workplace. Here in coastal Mississippi, though, there's an employee at a local fast food restaurant that not only wears her faith on her sleeve, she shares it with everyone. This story starts with a Facebook post of two women praying. The post says that Miss Brenda, a McDonald's employee, stopped this lady in her tracks as she was getting her drink and prayed for her on the spot. Miss Brenda said it was something that God told her to do. Because all things are possible through Jesus Christ. If I didn't have God, I ain't no way these folks gonna stand here and let me pray through they drive through and hold up their times. Because we have times we have to go through. But he allows me 15 seconds with each one that I pray with. And it's like when they leave and you got tears in your eyes, I know God touched your heart. During the organized chaos that is working in a fast food drive-thru, Miss Brenda finds real moments in between hundreds of beverages and even more french fries and happy meals. God love you. We'll see y'all next time. Enjoy your day and be blessed with Savior. To pray for those looking to not only fill up their bellies, but also their souls. But her path to drive-thru prayer wasn't easy. Well, he chose me when I was seven to give my testimony from when I OD'd when I was three and a half years old. And... The last thing I remember the doctor saying, and I'm only three, but I can tell you for for word what that man said. He said, God is going to use her. She's going to be special. So I'm like laying there like, man, I'm not going to be special for God. And he let my mama abuse me. You know what I'm saying? He allowed certain things to happen to her. I didn't believe that was a God because I'm a little bit child and so much is happening to me. When she doesn't answer her calling, the more difficult Miss Brenda says her tests from the Lord become. So after she said her name was dragged through the mud, she stayed true to her path. When I don't do what he asks me, my tests or my t- my tests are very hard. So I say, okay, God, I'm gonna put the past behind me. I told the people that did me wrong that I forgave them for what they did and how they scandalized my name because God said He never left. But see, the enemy was trying to play tricks. See, I told you he didn't love you. I'm like, man, you gonna get up under my feet. So before each shift, Miss Brenda begins her day with the same prayer in the hopes that she can reach just one more soul. Every morning now, I say, Proverbs chapter 3, 5 and 6, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your understanding, but acknowledge him in all my ways, and he shall have power in my mouth. Remember how... That's where I'm just going to stop that right quick. You can see how it makes a difference. You can see how just for herself it makes a difference. And now we're going to read on the website. It has her, it has the lady who stopped in that she's praying with right there has her Facebook post. So let's scroll down. Come on, scroll on down to her Facebook post. So that she says, Brenda's all about love and prayers. We'll always say a quick prayer with you before you drive away. She stopped me while I was going to get my drink and told me God told her she needed to pray for me right then and there. I've been silently struggling with a few things lately, having a hard time figuring it all out. She got on her knees and prayed for me for every struggle I've been having lately. Every one, right? 
stuff this lady Brenda doesn't know anything about. This other, I mean, I can't, what is this lady's name? Dylan. Dylan breaks out into tears because she hit every spot, word for word, every issue she do. God works in mysterious ways. With that being said, let go and let God. God bless you, Miss Brenda. Thank you. <clears throat> so Brenda made a difference in Dylan's life because she prayed with her. Because she had thoughts and prayers toward Dylan. Okay. God uses even that. And he tells us in... Let me see if I can get this. <laughs> it's 2 Timothy, I think. Let me get round here. Round here. <clears throat> it's 1 Timothy 2, one. All right. Let me get this up here on the screen for you guys. Let's see if I can do that. Can I do it? I can. All right. I got it done. Amazing. Okay. So 1 Timothy 2, one says, I urge them, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and all those in authority, so that we may lead tranquil and quiet lives in all godliness and dignity. Prayer, it's a big deal. It's a huge deal. It's the first thing you should do. It's commanded in several different ways, but First Timothy here is like the, the most obvious one. Pray for everybody. This includes people you don't like. This includes the politicians that we don't like. <laughs> that are seriously messing up our lives. Okay, it includes those people. Why? Because prayer does change things. Why does prayer change, thing, change things? And that's because it's not just vaporous words. You're not just being like, oh, thoughts and prayers, ha ha ha, not do anything. You're doing something. You're changing the world because there is a God behind it. There's Jesus Christ behind it. I'll tell you a personal story, something that happened with me. I worked in fast food for most of my life. When I would tell people I would pray for them, stuff would happen in their life and it would change their life for the better. And that made them, gave them the understanding that not only does someone some person care about them, but that God does. I prayed for a young lady before stuff that was, I can't remember exactly, but she was having some problems at home and I prayed for her and those problems started to wane. Those problems started to change. Her life started getting a little bit better and she would come back to work and ask me, what time did you pray for me exactly? And I would tell her and she says, at that exact time, my dad stopped hurting me or at that exact time he wasn't hurting her he was like it was one of those families where people just argued and yelled and stuff she was saying she was telling me that there was an argument and then all of a sudden it just stopped and there was peace in the house so I'm here to tell you guys from personal experience from this experience that we just listened to it matters it's the first thing it's your first defense in the Bible your prayers, I believe prayers is your shield. The Bible is your sword. If you go out into this world without your shield and your sword, then you're defenseless and you cannot, um, you're defenseless because you don't have your shield and you cannot attack because you don't have your sword. Y you are not doing good out there, okay? <laughs> pray, the reason I tell you every single episode to pray and read your Bible is because it is your defense. It is the way you're going to cut through the craziness in this world and get to what matters, and that is people. All right? And I don't want you, you know, we always hear thoughts and prayers don't matter. Put your money where your mouth is. Do something, do something. Well, I'm not just going to go out and do something random. I'm going to ask God, where is it best for me to go? All right? And the only way I can do that is through prayer. <laughs> the only way I can do that is by reading my Bible. All right. His answer is not going to satisfy everyone. And it really doesn't matter if it satisfies people or not. If the only thing you're supposed to do is sit in a room and pray and pray and pray, then that, that matters a hundred thousand times just as much as the person who gives $10,000 through money. Cause that's what they're supposed to do. All right. God has a plan. He has a way things are going to go. He works it through his people, through the church. And that is what matters in this life. 
big houses, cars, TVs, things like these things don't matter. These things are not what we're here for. We're here for each other and to help each other through life. And when the bad things do happen, to be there for each other, okay? I love you guys. After saying all that, I just felt like I should say that. If you're watching this and you don't know God, get to know God. Get to know Jesus. Come leave me a comment on YouTube. Come send me an email. Whatever it is you need to do. If you need a Bible, let me know. I'm sorry if you can hear the cat. He wants in. <laughs> um, I will see you guys in the next one. Remember to pray and read your Bible. It matters. It is one of the biggest things you can do. What can you do in this world? Pray. Talk to God. Ask him, what should I be doing today? All right. Bye.